Hi guys and welcome to another quick video tutorial here on my Manny Photography blog. My name is Manny and today's tutorial I want to show you guys two techniques how to create haze or a little bit of lens flare in your images. Now as you currently see I do have this shot of the lady standing against the tree. We shot it with some flash against her and we've got some nice backlight from the back. And now just to show you guys I quickly want to create a little bit of haze behind her with the gradient tool and then show you another technique how I mostly do it because I find the gradient tool isn't the best tool to do it. Okay, so let's just make give me a new layer here and make a brush over here, switch my foreground color to red again and like I said before I want to pretty much make that all the with haze and then over here create a little bit of flare going through with hazy kind of vibe. Okay, delete that layer again, switch my foreground colors back to black and white and now we'll start. First thing I'll do is down here create a new layer. On my new layer I'm going to work with my gradient tool now. Okay, going all the way to gradient, I currently have black as my foreground color, so I'm going to switch that with X, have white as foreground color, go over here and just select, I want the white going through to transparency, and yes, that's the way I wanted it, foreground white to transparency, okay. Going to my image back again in my layer, select in the left hand corner, hold down with the mouse and just go all the way down to the right hand corner, drop it. And directly you guys notice we have a nice new gradient, white gradient going from white into transparency. Now it does look a lot fake and it doesn't look real at all and I don't really like that white, pure white going into the image. It does just looks like you added the layer with a gradient. Okay, so let's work that, that it does look a little bit like haze. First step that we can do is go to our opacity and just take down our opacity 50, about 50%. Say around to 40-50%, that's looking good for now. Okay, next step I want to do is go down here to my masking tool, select the mask tool, and currently I do have a white mask. So that means I can paint out with my with a black foreground color and a brush, I can pretty much paint out the rest. Okay, gonna go to my brush over here, select the brush, select black as a foreground color, yes, pure black, please. Okay, that wasn't pure black, so we're gonna go back. Pure black, okay, got pure black, then our opacity from our brush should be around 100%, the flow 100%, and I also want to change my hardness down to soft, so it's really, really soft, and my brush size around, say, 500 pixels, 700, that's a bit too bit too big, okay, 618, that's good, okay, now I'm just going to paint over the tree, as you guys can see, Due to that the brush is so soft, you already noticed that the brush has a lot of spills, so I'm just going to paint really roughly over the person as well, okay, on the side here, and directly you guys notice that we're actually pretty much taking a lot of haze away again from her hair f behind the dress and so on, on the hair here, on the head, so that looks already fake, but don't worry, we painted on a mask, so we are able now with a white foreground color to paint that back, okay. So I'm going to zoom in now very closely onto my image and due to that that I'm working with the Vacuum Continuous 4 board I'm able to change my brush size here very very quickly so if you're photoshopping quite a lot and doing a lot of creative work get yourself this board it is really really awesome and helps quite a lot. Okay so back to our tutorial here white foreground color and I'm going to go back to my size brush size here I'm going to select around 400 Okay, make it a bit bigger. Okay, now Photoshop is doing something weirdy again. Don't want that. I'm just going to go back in my history channel again, one place. Okay, so my brush size is very big now still. I'm going to turn it down to 90%, say around there. And then with a 100 opacity, just paint it in very closely over here and over there. Just painting in that, holding my spacebar here to move around. And all around the person's face and over here and just going to draw very roughly around her face and around her head just painting back that haze okay but now we still have to work it in into the person so what I'm going to do now is take my brush size again and make it a bit bigger okay maybe even bigger like around 250 200 and a very very soft brush so now as I'm painting you guys will notice as well the spill is so big that we can actually spill a little bit onto her clothes and it just looks perfect okay that up a bit a little bit more don't worry nobody would really recognize that you actually painted a little bit onto the clothing okay on the hair make the brush size even more bigger and over here okay draw that in a bit just watch out that you're not going too much into her face and onto her head 
okay make that a little bit smaller again and over here and that spill pretty much that spill is covering all of that hazy areas that we actually just drawn out okay onto the tree a little bit and down here this you can do actually a bit faster and I'm just gonna do it till there maybe a little bit more and that's pretty much all I have to do okay over here and I'm gonna zoom out a little bit again and have a look how awesome this haze looks already it doesn't look that real to me so I'm gonna show you another technique how to do it better because I think this technique is not the best okay you can still actually take down your opacity a little bit up and down to play with it and go with your mask and erase here and a bit in the top and on the sides to just make it more round and a bit more realer okay I'm going to blend out that layer now and now we're going to go to our second technique okay go down all the way here create a new layer and on that new layer I pretty much want to go back to my marking tool and select elliptical marking tool select that and we're going to make a circle in the middle of that image here and around there I'm not sure how big that circle is I just took a rough guess now okay selected that and I'm still in marking tool gonna go up to select go all the way to modify and to feather sorry for that feather over here select feather and now a new window will pop up feather selection and we want to feather our selection to 250 pixels gonna say okay that now you see it shrinked a little bit we're gonna do the same effect again again to select again to modify and again to feather okay again to 50 feather that again and we have a new small circle with a very very feathered edge so we're going to press right click now and go down to fill and in fill have white as a foreground color blending mode normal and 100 percent say okay and have a look wow this looks like a real good haze to me or a small lens flare you can still work it now make a little bit of a smaller hole into there and create a little bit of more sun effect and stuff like that I just want to show you guys quickly have a look now if I drag that haze spot into the middle now I'm also able to drag that spot into any direction I want to because it's on a new layer we're able now to just move it over here onto the trees or onto these plants and have a look how awesome this looks I'm also able now to still transform that to press command T and we can transform that make it a bit bigger make it smaller if you want to so all these functions we have just with one small uh, button now okay so accept that and we're gonna move that a little bit into the side again and have a look it does look way way realer to me now I'm still able to make another mask on there on here again and then on that mask just paint it out a little bit out of the face again select my brush again go black foreground color because we're painting on a white mask make it a bit bigger don't forget our brush size is still very very soft so I'm gonna make it a bit harder 30% okay and uh, just make my brush size a bit bigger and then just very carefully draw over here again and just give her a bit of more contrast again and get that color out of her alright so these two techniques are pretty much my two ways of how I create a little bit of lens flare it isn't the best lens flare you can get normally I would do a shot directly into the sun and then maybe just merge it out of there and take that shot okay but if to create a little bit of haze you can use these two techniques if you want to you can also I'm gonna show you guys quickly I'm gonna blend that out and blend in the first technique that we used that was the gradient tool and the second technique just the haze and together if you like them together which would look a bit hard but if you like it you can use it like that okay my technique that I prefer is the second technique with the elliptical marking tool thank you guys for watching if you still have any problems and don't understand how to do this feel free to email us at team at mannyphotography.co.za my name is Manny thank you guys for watching and see you in the next tutorial